morning, we made it to the galley for our sea day breakfast. I went to Diner and Dash. I ordered the egg white frittata and the chicken sausage, which came out very quickly. I did ask uh, for the gluten-free bread that they had on their menu, but they told me to go to the daily mix. Um, so I did go over there, get gluten-free bread. Um, they do have gluten-free bagels, so I'm going to have to check that out because they had all the accoutrement to go with it as well. And I also picked up some fruit and yogurt from Bento Baby. <laughs> and I went to the taco place to get chorizo burritos. It's a little small, but that's okay because I'm going to go to the Diner Dash too. <laughs> <laughs> and Diner Dash uh, serves 24-hour breakfast. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. if you like a breakfast for dinner moment, then Virgin's caught you covered. And Diner Dash is like actually right behind Claire. Yes. And then the Bento Baby Place is uh, right over here to my left. And um, they also have obviously, you know, rolls and, and I don't know if they have sushi or sashimi. They do, uh, for lunch and dinner. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's really it's sushi, just a, uh, sushi rolls, not sushimi. Right. And it's just a quick grab and go. Yes. So, so that's, that's a nice option. And then they also, for additional grab and go, have prepared salads and sandwiches as well. Yeah, and uh, it's a sea day today, so it's a little busy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's the ship still, this, this area is still handling the, the crowd very well. Yeah, we were able to find a seat pretty quickly. Yeah. Got lucky. Yeah. But, uh, well, everything looks good. As I promised, since I inhaled my chorizo <laughs> burrito, went to Diner Dash, got scrambled eggs, bacon, and hash browns. And it was quick. Very fast. I was actually going to do this little uh, table service yeah. thing here, but. Uh, raise the flag yeah, you just, and the, the crew will come serve you and check out the menu. Yeah, which is a pretty neat feature. Yeah. But I was like, nah, I was fast enough to do this. And uh, I guess one thing to mention is that you don't, it's not like a typical buffet where you grab the stuff yourself. Correct, you're served. You're served, yeah, behind the counter. Yeah. So you don't have to touch any of the serving utensils or anything like that, which is yes. nice. It is. And it's honestly pretty quick. It might be quicker than people, you yeah. know, putting like four or five scoops of it's food true, on their plate. Because the lines go very fast, yeah, much faster do. than buffet lines, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Trivia. We'll get to the rating in just a Even moment. Even on Virgin. Well, this is stressful. It's three rounds of 10 questions each. You don't know what the theme is before going in because the first round is general knowledge and then the following two rounds are and chosen again, by a wheel a of topics. Thumbs up. What and you, you have, have to trade your answer sheet I mean, after each 10 traded. questions. A big old to have another up, team everyone. grade you, and you then they call out the teams that are leading. I'm loving it. <laughs> Speaking but of, it's fun I'm to it. commentate from. The first game <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm stuck on band aid. Oh, the last one is band aid. Yeah. So the jingle that goes, I, I am stuck on blank because blank is stuck on me. No. I was thinking it was a toy. I don't know if they do. All I know I is thought thought it was that a one downy. football game where <laughs> someone got it's really bad at the and then cut straight to the. <laughs> Well, it's not a duck. What does it say? What does it say? <laughs> like, I didn't know what to think. Oh, yeah. look, it's like a spiky duck. You know, yeah, a Ziploc bag. It's a spicy duck. Spicy. <laughs> One eternity later. God. Quite a bit of time has it's, passed. It's a Royal Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we tried to get pizza, but the line was super long. So now we're going to the aft of the ship on deck seven to the dock house. Is that what it I is? I think it's just dock. Dock. Eh, the dock. Uh-oh. Yeah. Claire did a 5K earlier, so I made up 5K while I stayed in the casino. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just your idea. <laughs> we're like, I don't know if you know where we're at. It's a very industrial back here. <laughs> <laughs> Very windy, very windy. And I don't even know if we're moving check much. This out. Oh, check this out though. Look how rough this is. But it doesn't even look like we're moving. 
I think we're just drifting towards Bimini. Well, after uh, making a mistake on which side of the ship we were on, we found the dock. If we would have stayed inside. <laughs> but we're outside, which is really nice. This and is mine. We're in this cool little, uh, I don't know what you call this. What, I'm not really space? sure. Outdoor space. So it's, it's an outdoor lounge. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we got the, some after the ship. Small bites, open fire grill. Got some grilled shrimp and uh, got a hanger steak and Claire got some octopus. Yeah, the shrimp and octopus. <laughs> and got some interesting drinks. So yeah. see how that goes. Try it out. And then sitting right next to this plant that the irrigation system <laughs> just turned on. It's kind of funny. Yo, our bites have arrived. Looks like I got the chicken. Chicken something. Fire, Fire roasted chicken. chicken thigh. Followed by the hanger steak. Here's the octopus. And then the grilled shrimp. And then we got these cool drinks too. So this is the... The grapevine. Grapevine. And then fig sour or yeah. something like that. So well, all this stuff looks pretty good. How's that drink? It tastes a little bit like wine. <laughs> Grapevine. Yeah, I can see where the name came from. It's muddled grape, it said. So, I guess it's like wine. It's pretty good. It has vodka. It's pretty good. <laughs> the food, the small bites, was really good. It was like perfect because we're just like two and a half, three hours from dinner. Didn't want yeah, to it's a good amount. The but shrimp. we didn't eat lunch either, so. Shrimp was good. I thought the roasted chicken was good. I mean, all of it was good. Yeah. That I was mean, octopus. I, I enjoyed the octopus. I thought the shrimp had just really different flavors that we don't normally have that went really yeah. well together. And my fig sour is a chugger. It's, it's really good. That's <laughs> one drink I would definitely recommend. So, this place is cool. Luckily, it's nice outside. Slight little breeze. Yeah. Definitely a good spot to hang out and get some small bites. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to mention that ordering through this thing or just putting the flag up is super cool. Yeah. So convenient. And the wait staff comes to you within like a minute, takes your order. And then they put it back down. And come uh, back and see if you need anything else. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's a glad, huge perk. Glad we tried that. Yeah. Yeah, see, so here's the rest of the space. So. It's, it's quite nice. Ooh, they even have these beds right here. That's crazy. You didn't even notice that before. But uh, it's a really nice spot to hang out. And here's where we were sitting. So, pretty cool. A few minutes later. Ice cream was good. Lick me till ice cream is a place called. It's pretty cool. Then we found this little uh, sitting area adjacent to the ice cream place. And nobody's over here really. So it's nice and quiet. What are you doing? You're looking I'm up. trying to find which... There's a cruise ship out there. It might not be a cruise ship. Because hmm. I don't think it, it's... Oh, shoot. I don't think it's that one. Looking at my it's cruise it. mapper. It's Carnival Mardi Gras. We need to look way through the there. binoculars. I don't remember where that was. The deck. pool deck. Cool deck? 15. 15 or 16, one of those two. I'm gonna check it out, see what's out there. You sure, is he gonna be able to see that far? It's magnification that? I don't know, I think so. Good, I we would, we would at least be able to see if it's a carnival ship or not, at the whale tail. Red whale tail. I guess that's why people thought we were on a carnival ship. Yeah. The Jubilee, because it's red and just like this one. But it's not a whale tail on this one. No, but it was red in yeah. your picture. True. So I guess we're not drifting. Seems like we are. But we went like from Key West dead south, then east. Now we're going back up northeast. But anyways, we're headed to Bimini. Where's Bimini on that map? I oh actually, there it is. Oh. Okay. We're just moving extremely slow. Well, yeah. I mean, they could do that overnight, probably. <laughs> from here to... Yeah. From here 
to that. Probably. I probably should be able to. That's funny. We're not we doing went donuts. From Miami to Key West overnight. So. Yeah. Yeah. Halfway there. Looks like. Found another coffee place. And you. They have gluten free treats. They also have gluten free muffins, too. Muffins and maybe something else? Yeah, so. A lot of cool things. Look Thank at these. You. Look at these things. Uh, do you by chance have a Look at that. Sheet? Thank you so and much. And then there's the gluten free stuff. So. Cool. Very cool. No joke, guys. This Angelino shake and espresso is really good. Delicious. We went shopping after our cookie and uh, <laughs> uh, shake and espresso. Our ice cream and then cookie and espresso <laughs> treats. <laughs> yes. And, gosh, dinner, dinner's in like two hours. So felt like we've been eating the past couple hours. Oh, well. But... We we'll get your new hat, your new running hat. Thanks, Michael. So, confirm that it's reflective of the bill. Yeah. So I didn't realize it when we were looking at it originally, but this bill it had like a different color, and I almost thought it was like a misfit, like it wasn't done properly. So I was gonna pull another one. I was like, oh no, they're they're all like that. And then I was thinking, well, maybe it's reflective, which it is. So. And I got a ship model to add to the collection. But um, did you realize this is your first uh, virgin ship. hat? No, well, first, first cruise hat. ship hat. That's what I meant. You got a virgin one before a royal hat. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so much loyalty. <laughs> no. Well, I'm usually pretty specific on which hat. Yeah. I buy, but this one caught my attention. But, I don't know, Virgin's been cool. Yeah, we've really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's still hard to compare because they're very oh, different. Yeah, they're, well, it's apples and oranges. Yeah. The but, only thing that's similar is that it's a, a cruise, cruise ship. ship. <laughs> Everything's very different. And it, I mean, it's different in a very positive way that we've enjoyed. Yeah. Now what? Waiting for dinner, I guess. Yeah. A couple more hours. Pink agave tonight. Mexican I food. I cannot wait for pink agave. I don't even. I haven't even looked at the menu. I haven't either, but I'm surprised Mexican you have. Mexican food. It. Sign me up. Last time, I didn't look at the menu, and we went to a, a restaurant on the cruise ship. I got in trouble, so now Claire doesn't look at the menu. Well, I just. It's not that I don't look at the menu, but there's so many options on version that you kind of have to be a little bit open-minded <laughs> coming into it. It's true. It's true. It could, everything's going to be new to us here. And the crew here has been more accommodating for food allergens than anything I've ever experienced. Even like the small bites places and even the, the ice, ice cream, cream. place yeah. asked for allergens before they served you. So Wait, they didn't ask me. They probably looked at me like, oh, he's all right. <laughs> Give him so, I mean, and so their menus are labeled gluten free or vegan. Yeah. Um, but once I order something that's specifically gluten free and then they find out I'm gluten free, they say, well, we can also do this, this and that and accommodate it to be gluten free. So then it opens up the menu even more. Yeah. No, yeah. They've been really good about that. Yes. And just like that, we are ready for dinner. Going to uh, Pink Agave. Got our pink outfits on. <laughs> Where'd you get your pink outfit? Amazon's finest. <laughs> Here's our first round of appetizers. Got guacamole. And then I got uh, fresca, which is, I don't remember. Make me look it up. So while Claire looks that up, her drink is has rosemary leaf in it. Uh, mine is Patron, St. Germain, carrot, orange, and ginger. And Michael's is uh, vodka, green chili, cucumber, and lemon. Both very good, but this looks good too. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Okay, the rest of appetizers here. We got the papas con chorizo. And then we got esquites, which is just Street corn. corn. 
And then shrimp. She talked me into getting the shrimp last night. Yeah. Camarones. With mole sauce. Camarones. So, the guacamole was good. It was good. Now, shrimp. Good. I had shrimp earlier today, too. <laughs> this beats those. <laughs> Which those are very good, too. Main course has arrived, and I got the ribeye, and then Claire got. I got. Pork where is something. it on the? She didn't the, get tortillas the though. Chochanita pibil, which is smoked pork and sour orange habanero pico de gallo. Huh. So I'm excited. It so everything's delicious. been. Awesome. Yes. All the appetizers I, were freaking loved awesome. It. Loved it. So this looks really good though. And then we both got these drinks. <laughs> the frescoes. The frescoes, the second round. They're they're, they're really amazing. Good. Amazing. A dessert. Look at these chocolate tacos. And then I'm not even gonna pronounce this correctly. So I'll let Claire tamal de chocolate. <laughs> so gluten-free. The yes. only one on there, but it looks good. Oh, the it's waitress like a, is favorite. It's like a oh. chocolate melting cake. What? All chocolate, huh? <laughs> oh, so good. Well, dinner was awesome. Yes, it was. Time has passed, and uh, we were at the casino. Lost. <laughs> Sat at the casino bar and took shots for a few people's birthdays, I guess. And mine. So that was fun. A lot of fun. No tell animal. They don't do those here. Yeah, I think those are largely for the children. Oh. <laughs> but we love them. <laughs> yeah. No children here. <laughs> oh, well. I noticed that was one big thing they're missing. That, and I am forever feeling like I'm forgetting something because I don't have my CPAS card with me because I have my handy dandy wristband, which, which is, has been awesome. Oh, it's been amazing, <laughs> actually. It's been so much more efficient. Yeah. Oh, one big thing that was a game changer for me on the sea day on this ship is the hammock the hammock is is awesome in fact i found it on amazon so i'll put a link down in the description below of what that is because everybody needs one somehow i'm gonna buy one you can't have people putting hammocks in there why not as long as you attach install it install it on a supporting engineered structured beam <laughs> well, as long as you install it correctly you'll be fine but the hammock on the balcony is amazing. It's been amazing. It's been awesome. Loved it. What? It's nervous. <laughs> Come on, you know I'm gonna be able to install it correctly. Well, with that. <laughs> what is that? Gosh. Fine, whatever. Something to get a hammock. <laughs> Everybody should get hammocks. So here's one thing, right? We still have to go to the acrobatic show. We were supposed to go at seven, but here's one mistake that Claire did. She booked the 10 o'clock acrobatic show and forgot to add me on there. <laughs> I was doing things quickly because I realized hours later, after we had boarded the ship, that I still hadn't booked anything. So I booked us both on the seven o'clock show, knowing that we had dinner at six, so it would be hard to make. And so I was like, oh, I will also book the 10 o'clock show. That's genius. But I only booked myself for the 10 yeah. o'clock show. And so we went to guest services after dinner. And they're sold out. And they're like, yeah, we can't add you in there, but we recommend doing standby. They said that normally they understand that people on this ship are going in pairs. And so they see the reservation and they see him not able to go in. They're like, eh, maybe. Okay. Or it's either that or she's gonna wave. 
Peace. <laughs> See you back the room. I mean, come on. Man. I'll show you footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully we get in. So stay tuned. We'll see. Let's go. We're in. <laughs> they even scanned our freaking band. Or at least uh, scanned Claire's. Yeah, they scanned my band and then they said we were good to go. So. Dang, we're in. This kind of reminds me of the ice skating ring. Yeah, but it's an acrobatic show. So it'll be interesting to see what this is all about. It's going to be cool. Look at this place. It's cool. It's cool. Check it out. We're also Team Blue. They gave us these bands. There is red and blue. Yeah, see? Now we have all these freaking bands on our arms. <laughs> no, <it's> too many. So we saw the the show. I forget what it's called. Uh, yeah, I know it's like they said it a few times. I did, still didn't get it. Yeah, but it was like a Romeo and Juliet story. Was it really? You know, like the two sides fighting, and then uh. <laughs> this is a female on one side and male on the other side, now it all and makes they're not sense. allowed to like intermingle. So when we got in, we got these. Blue and red bands that you saw of yours? No. No. Because we all threw them. <laughs> well, a lot of us threw them. And then so they told us to go to one side. We were on the blue side. And then and there was, was a red, red side. side. And then the performers largely started in the stands and then like stormed the field, I'll call it. Yeah. It was crazy. It was unlike anything I've ever experienced. In fact, one of them started to sit next to me, but then there was two seats available, so they asked her to move, but they asked her just to move like, hey, are you a single person? Can you move yeah, somewhere else? Yeah, it seemed else? like she was just a person, oh. a part of the, the crew, like a sailor, a part of the cruise. Yeah, and then... And then they took off like normal clothes and they were in red and blue shirts and shorts. It was, yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> no, that was ridiculous. Ridiculously crazy yeah. and insane. A lot of different types of performances, um, mm -hmm. all acrobatic. Very impressive, of course. Um, even more so impressive on a moving ship and a slightly rocky ship, so. Gosh. Hopefully I was able to get some clips of it. But it was crazy. I mean, There's no, way other, no other way to explain it other than just crazy. And one of them could sing. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, like, multi-talented, multi-talented. So yeah. very entertaining. We enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad we got in. Yeah. Since no issues. Know, I wasn't reserved the spot or anything. Well, you got in. <laughs> but yeah, definitely worth it. Yeah, absolutely. But. With that, we finish our sea day aboard Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Today was our third day aboard. Tomorrow yeah. we are in, we are in Bimini, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.